Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about sino nasal fibrous dysplasia imaging. So what is the fibrous dysplasia? Fibrous dysplasia is the we call it when fibrous osseous lesion in which normal medullary bone is replaced by weak osseous and fibrous tissue. So that is we call fibrous dysplasia. Most common sign and symptom. Many cases are asymptomatic even with neurologic progression. Most functional disability occur in first decade of life. Painless facial deformity, nasal obstruction, cranial neuropathy if involved, hormonal, coffee only skin maku, common finding and often first manifestation early in life, may spontaneously regress over time. Other signs symptom, malocclusion of teeth, proptosis, headache, facial pain, blindness, laboratory study, increased alkali phosphatase, normal serum calcium and phosphorus, complication, fracture and deformity. Demography. Age, 75% is less than 30 years, higher incident in 3 to 15 years. Sex, male less than female, in polyosteotic form. Magoon Albright syndrome almost exclusively in female. Epidemiology, monostotic, 70 to 80%. Head and neck involvement in 25%. Holy osteotic, around 20 to 30%. Bone of head and neck involved in more than 50. Magoon Albright syndrome, 3 to 10% of fibrous dysplasia with endocrine anomal anomaly. Imaging, classic apparent, ground glass density on non-enhanced CT. Density vary with amount of fibrous tissue. Variable enhancement of fibrous component. Variable presence of loosened and lytic pussy. Our signal and enhancement and highly variable. Expansion of the Lloyd space, key feature of fibrous dysplasia. Low T2 signal, characteristic but often not present. When T2 hyper intense and enhancing neoplas mimic. Best imaging tool, sin section bone algorithm non-enhanced CT. This is the non-enhanced CT, so mark expansion of diploid space in the bilateral maxilla and sphenoid bone. The nasal airway is severely narrow. The patient represented uh, with conjunctivitis due to inability to close his eye. Nasal obstruction and facial deformity. Nasal lacrimal duct is anteriorly displaced and the right maxillary sinus is small. This is T2C plus FSMR, so 
and he chose rarely find his sponsor lesion in the skull base, maxilla, and sphenoid bone with mark T2 hyperintent and specor T2 hyperintent pussy. Bone CT so extensive polyostotic fibrous dysplasia involving bilateral maxilla, sphenoid bone, and condyle of the left mandible. Lytic change are seen in clevis and right temporal bone. When present, it is often seen in active base fibrous dysplasia and often in hand on CT, on stomach. Bone CT cell fibrous dysplasia of black maxilla with a ground glass appearance and marked bone expansion. The maxilla ventrum volume is diminished on that size. G1 MR reveal frontal fibrous dysplasia with expansion of the frontal bone and obliterate of the frontal sinus. The signal intensity is intermediate in this case. Imaging characteristics are not specific and non-contrast enhanced CT should be performed to confirm suspected fibrous dysplasia. Treatment. Delay until after puberty. Clinical and imaging follow-up if minimal symptomatic surgical excision if functional compromise. Be postmana occasionally used for severe bone pain. Radiation therapy not effective and increased risk of malignant transformation. Thank you.